Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. Welcome to the 2024 first episode, first edition of Soccer As We Like It. The Man United Action, the channel for United and football fans all over there. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Why are you watching? Smash like on our video. Drop your comments because we have a lot of explosive X stories to talk about. So stay tuned with us and let's get right into it. This this 2024 has started with explosions and fireworks. So let's get right into why you're watching. Smash a like, drop a comment, and subscribe and follow us on all the social media platforms. Right. As you know, today is 2nd of January 2024. We finished the year in an abysmal, pathetic four. Choked, they choked, they joked, they're absolute bunch of clowns, and they failed to even be able to beat. Just couldn't even beat the regular teams. Couldn't beat West Ham, lost 2 0. Then you beat Aston Villa. You now, you now play your next game to Nottingham Forest and you choke. Absolute dreadful. But that is 2023. That was last year. We're going to just forget about that and talk about 2024. Sir Jim arrived at Old Trafford today to come and take over his business. His 25%, his one quarter of the cake, he came to see. He was given a tour of my, my, my Man United Stadium. He was given a VIP tour and he looked at what he was going to be dealing with. He hasn't had talks with Ten Hag, but... From what we are saying from my sources, Sky Sports, ESPN, BBC are saying, even Samuel Lurkhurst from the Manchester Evening News have said, Eric Ten Hag might not be happy with this takeover, with this guy handling, because Sir Jim is going to be managing all the football parts of it, which means he's going to put people like um, Mitchell in. Ashworth is sporting director and a director of football, which means he's going to have to relinquish power in terms of making the final de de decision in who he buys and who he wants. Because end of the day, right, everyone he's brought in has been literally mediocre, mate. He's failed. Who's the, the only one who's been successful, I could say, is Martinez. Other than that, Onana, flop. Um, I'm about... Whatever. Where cause? <laughs> uh, what's his name? The other guy. Uh, he brought in uh, Malaysia. Okay, 50-50. He brought in um, Anthony. Don't get me started. Do not get me started because I'm not in the mood today. It's too early in the year to talk about Anthony. So I'm going to put that to one side, put it in a little jar, lock it up and put it in a little cupboard. And I'll move on. I'll have me a glass of water. <sighs> so as it stands, then you got to talk of uh, Mason Mount. Another flop. Absolutely one of the biggest flops of 2023. What an absolute mess. So, I don't trust him with any more players. Let the director of football, let the sporting directors decide and make those decisions about who should be played for this club, not Ten Hag. He needs to focus on the coaching side. So, he might not like what, Eric Ten, uh, what Sir Jim's going to say. That Listen, I'm bringing in Mitchell, I'm bringing in Ashworth. They will be in charge of making those decisions. If you want a player and they don't want that, and they don't like that player, I'm sorry, uh, Ten Hag, it's not going to happen. If they like a player, you don't like a player, your job is to coach, not manage the structure of the football. It's to coach and deliver. And unfortunately, he hasn't got the leeway or the leverage to make this kind of demand because, to be honest, you fucked up the whole season, mate. You have failed. Absolutely failed. If you had won a league title, you're in Europe, you're chasing, you're, ch you're, 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 you're competing for the, the, the top, you're, you're in a title race, you're in Champions League, you're at the new stage, you're in all the trophies, then you probably have a leg to stand on. But at the moment, it's been an absolute disaster. You came last in Champions League group, a group that had Copenhagen and Galatasaray. Get the fuck out of there. So if Sir Jim relinquishes your power, you should shut the fuck up, get coaching, and get the, the job done. Anyway, Sir Jim, you take care of him and get that guy to do his job as in coach and not start selecting and deciding who should play and who should 
United acquire. No, it's not your job. Your job is to communicate, give them a list of players. If they think those players fit the profile, they buy them. If they don't fit that profile, goodbye, good night on your bike. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's chapter one. Chapter two. One of the biggest and greatest flops of all time at United, other than Sanchez, is Jadon Sancho. We chased this guy for two years, paid 17 million for him, gave him 350,000 a week to be a right winger. He now said, No, I want to play on the fucking left. Ole said, Fuck you, you're not even playing. He didn't play in Ole's team, barely played. Ragnar didn't play him, he was a flop. So he's been here two years, and let's be realistic. Let's cut all the sentiments, let's cut all the emotional ties to him. He has failed. He is a flop. One of the biggest flops. He will make the top five flops of all time at United because he has failed. I said, he, what has he done? Like Janet Jackson said in that song, what have you done for me lately? What has Sancho done for United lately? Absolutely nothing. So at this point, he's a failure. So you know what's even funny? We paid 70 million, offered him free six year contract, fucking hell, mate, and paid him 350 a week. He has delivered absolutely rubbish. Now we're going to loan him back to Dortmund and pay 70% of the wages. Who the fuck does that? Apart from this organized, this, 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 this organized club will buy a player. That much of money. They, they, they haven't even finished paying that money. Loan him back and pay 70% of those wages. This thing doesn't make sense. I can't, I can't make this stuff up. This is just ridiculous, mate. Absolutely ridiculous. You know what I mean? We are laughing. We are a joke. Absolute joke. So he's going to bugger off to Germany, bugger off to Dortmund, and figure out what we're going to do after that. Chapter 2. Now, another flop. Oh, Nana. I've been trying to be considerate and saying he needs time. His defense keeps changing in front of him. But honestly, mate, even, excuse me, even the simple stuff, he fumbles and flops and flaps. You know what I mean? The two goals against West Ham, the first goal against West Ham. I'm sorry, mate. I was rubbish. The two goals against Aston Villa. I mean, what the fuck? Then if I need to go to the Galatasaray game or the Copenhagen game, I'll start to sneeze and start having itchy eyes because it makes me want to cry. This guy is not a bad goalkeeper. He's just not a United goalkeeper. We don't play football from the back. We don't transition. So he or literally is useless because... He's not doing what he's he was brought in for. He's not even a shot stopper. And now that AFCON has arrived, AFCON starts January 15th. We play Wigan this Saturday and Spurs the following week. This guy is telling Eric Ten Hag, I could go the night before. No, mate. No. We want you gone now. Go and represent your country. Stand firm to your country. Your country needs you. Cameroon needs you. So all this, I'm trying to stay with United. I've asked for a stand. No, we don't need you to ask for no fucking extension. Just get on the plane and go and prepare properly. You see, when you start doing that, I'll leave the day of, a day before. That's ill preparation. We don't need you. Just go. We have outer. Only if Eric Ten Hag is Whispering in his ears like, could you hold on? Could you hold on? It could be Altai is not good enough and Ten Hag is scared that Altai might flop. And Onana is scared that if he comes back, this guy might be good and he might not get his place back. Who gives a shit? The season's already fucked. We ain't going anywhere. The best we can hope for is 7th or 8th position. Well, not with these lazy bones, these chokers and jokers. 
who walk around the pitch like they're going on a summer holiday or walking a doggy. It don't matter. That's it. Oh, no, no. Onaha is he's scared he might lose his place. So he's trying to hold on. You might as well not even go. Then he's trying to delay. Oh, you're trying to be... Listen, we're playing Wigan. We don't need you. We got Spurs. We're going to lose anyway. Don't matter. So say, do yourself a favor and go to the AFCON. Your country needs you. So goodbye, good night, on your bike, have a nice day, and a bag of chips. No. Chapter 3 close with Onana. These guys are just a bunch of clowns. I'm sorry, mate. I've not heard so much bollocks in my life. Your country needs you. They're playing the biggest tournament in the other than the World Cup. Afghan is as big as the Euros. And your country calls you. You are delaying it and delaying it and delaying it and you want to leave the night off? Who does that? Get the fuck out of here and go represent your country. Please. Oh, guys, get on my bloody nerves. You know what I mean? Oh, God Almighty. I had a golden whisper. that United are looking at Carl Havertz as a, a striker in the transfer window. Carl Havertz was a flop at Chelsea. I mean, why are we always looking at Chelsea rejects? I, I cannot, for my mind, comprehend why we want a Chelsea reject. He failed at Chelsea. He's barely just making it at Stuttgart. I think it is. I'm not too sure because I don't follow it like that. Then, they've been looking at Muller. Who should be in a retirement home? But Bam Muller keep running me out in a wheelchair. He wants to come. United want him. I think, do we not get tired of getting re uh, pensioners in this club? Why, what is the attraction with these pensioners? And paying pensioners a big salary. I don't get it. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Oh, well, that is the news today. Sergio arrived. He's starting to shake the place. Eric Tenag is shaking in his boots because he's going to re have to relinqu relinquish power of deciding who he wants and who he doesn't want. Sancho's going to be buggering off, going to fuck off the journey. Onana should fuck off to the AFCON, but he's scared he might lose his place to Altai, and he's saying, I'll leave after the Spurs game. No, you're not. You better go now. Now, United are looking at pensioners and failures. What has this club come to? Absolutely a, a joke. Absolutely a joke. Do you think Spurs, uh, Man it's Liverpool or Man City... Or else I'm going to be looking at Muller or Carvets. Joke, mate. It's a mate. It's a joke. We keep looking at Chelsea failures. Chelsea failures. We keep looking at them. That's all we keep doing. We keep looking at failures. Retired pensioners. People who... Remember when we went to go and get... um, What's his name? Um, Schweinsteiger, who was way past his retirement age, we still brought him in. He was done. Couldn't he cope with the Premier League. We bring all these retired, done players. People, either the injury prone, they're done. It's, we, we are done with this bullshit. Let's move on and get talent, young talent who have the energy and the vision to want to play. Not people who just come in here to pick up a, a last paycheck, a last hurrah. While you're watching, don't forget to smash a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. I'll have a nice one on you guys. Have a nice day. Add a bag of chips. Man United need to sort it out. Sir Jim is in town. And Ten Hag is shaking in his boots. I'll see you on the next one.